Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Glossuta Original Pano Inverse XL. You can see this 42mm stainless steel inverse movement timepiece and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with accessories included, additional high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details. Now released at Basel World 2008, the Pano Inverse XL caused a sensation by essentially turning the caliber 65 duplex around. The 65 duplex, so named because of the double swan's neck regulator, Glossuda created the caliber 66, which is almost by itself indistinguishable from the Pano Inverse XL. This watch is its movement. The movement is the watch. Now in terms of raw fit, it's a fairly conventional large modern timepiece. It is a dress watch, but of a decidedly sporting bent. Now across the case, the watch is 42 millimeters in steel, not including the crown. In terms of thickness, it is 11.5 millimeters thick, but with a nicely stepped bezel and the slope that that creates, you can easily slide this one underneath any kind of tight sleeve or formal cuff. It's certainly suited for that application. Now from lug to lug, the watch measures a very reasonable 48 millimeters. So while the name of the watch is XL, nevertheless, it does wear compact, albeit with peerless wrist presence. Now the watch has a very handsome and uniquely finished alligator leather strap. It's finished with a sort of nubuck sheen, which is to say that it's buffed extensively on the hide, so it doesn't have gloss, nor is it a matte finish, but under the finger, in the hand, it feels a lot like suede. It's subdued, and it keeps the focus on the dial of the watch. It doesn't become a distraction or a feature in its own right, although robustly bolstered and massively built, it is very substantial and befits the premium sheen of this watch. Now, the case flanks of this watch are alternately polished and satin finished. And you can see the contrast between the polished and the satin finished elements as well as the beautiful bevel of the lugs and the step of that dial, or rather bezel I should say. The watch is handsome and it's paired with a robust single fold deployment that matches the substance of the rest of the timepiece. Now you'll note it has the unique measure of actually pinning the strap in place once it's sized, so very secure on the wrist. The swing arms are massive, alternately matte finished and polished, very handsome. Nothing in here is unfinished and very secure when closed. Now normally I would spend more time on a case back shot, but frankly all of the action of the Pano Inverse XL is on the dial side. Now this is where like I said, the caliber 66 effectively becomes indistinguishable from the watch itself. This is a handsome timepiece, an unconventional timepiece, and yet a very traditional timepiece. Notice that the caliber 66 emulates the three-quarter style bridge that is dominant in Glossuta watchmaking, whether it's from Longa, whether it is from Glossuta Original. This is a style that recalls the pocket watch heyday of German watchmaking in Saxony. Also note, double engraved balance bridge. Now normally you see the balance cock, a single sided brace supporting the balance assembly. Here because of the duplex double swan's neck regulator, you get a full balance bridge with each side individually engraved by hand. You also note the beautiful linear glossuta stripes across the dial and a nice tribute to the pocket watch era when you turn the watch over. You can see that the wheels themselves are set in golden chiton held in by screws and the caps on the reverse side of the movement are actually black polished, extremely fine. There are some small and worthy details to note and appreciate on the reverse side, but let's face it, this is where all the action is, especially in a dynamic lighting condition, such as the light box you see here. You'll note that the watch does feature a power reserve gauge, and this helps you to track the roughly 40 hour power reserve of the Caliber 66. Now it has a modern 4 hertz or 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. It does feature hacking seconds such that when you pull the crown you stop the balance. Now you can precisely synchronize to a known accurate reference time. Moreover, it does have a very subtle application of luminant material on the hands and the dial such that while it is a dress watch and it is a formal watch, it does have a little bit of sportiness including sports function with the ability to see it in low or no light conditions. 
Everything about this watch created entirely within the Glossuda manufacture. It is an in-house product in every sense. And when you're talking about a watch that is aesthetically indistinguishable from its movement, that's an excellent piece of pedigree.